Hi again mga kaisda, I am now searching different aquatic organisms in marine water environment. In my locality which I live, we are considered as fisher fox, whereas means most of our source of income are found in the sea. We are also experiencing high and low tide phenomena and that's very interesting because I am about to search different organisms that is edible and I'm going to serve in our DNA lake. As a fishery student, it is prerequisite for us to study etiology. Etiology is a study of fish, but it does not end up in studying fishes only. Etiology also linked to study ecology, specifically fish ecology. Ecology is the study of interactions of organisms from their environment. Like fish, there are three kinds of environment they live. Salt water, fresh water, and estuaries environment. This interaction may be symbiotic or not, but this is how it works to maintain the ecology balance. On the other hand, studying fish ecology is very cool. Aside from fish, you also encounter different organisms that interact with them, like for sea grasses and corals which most of the fish lay their eggs and to keep it safe from any possible predators. Sea urchin, sea cucumbers, and clams are three of the organisms that made up marine ecology. Although they do not have their direct relationship to the fish, however, they are part of the biotic life of some marine organisms that have direct relationship of the fish. These organisms have specialized physiological features which help them to thrive in the environment. Studying ecology is very complex because fish is one of the most abundant species on Earth. Considering the fact that scientists discovered only small percentage of marine waters around the world. And that interests me more to study etiology because there are lots to be discovered and mysteries to unknown. As a future fish scientist, etiology is a very important field to study. This field shaped the world and one of the building blocks of biology.